I'm so happy you're here. I can't wait to show you my garden. Come on. <laughs> I can't believe the way they've exploded in here. So we have these big beautiful squashes and some of you guys are going to ask me what they are and I have no idea. Um, my neighbor tells me they're banana squashes but they all look different so I think they're a cross pollination um, but they taste amazing. We get squash from him every year and he gave us the seeds so that's what they are. We've got three rows of berries that are right in here and at the end of each row I planted a couple squash plants. So there's a couple here, a couple there, and a couple there. And I have like a squash sea. <laughs> and it just kind of is blowing my mind. This is where um, we've got the wood chips. And I water about once or twice a week, depending on how hot it is. And we have at least 20 of them in there that are that size, like monster pumpkins. So let me show you a few more. Look at the size of that thing. And I love the color that it's getting. So here's our experimental garden this year and you guys have seen a couple clips of it here and there. Um, this is new ground that we haven't ever worked and we've got weeds that we battled and we planted in here and we have learned a lot. And I'm going to do a whole video all about everything that we've learned. but. One thing I do want you to notice is this side of the garden is thriving and this side of the garden is where we had mulch down over the winter. So the soil was being built, there were microbes already in the soil. Beyond the, left, or the first four feet here, there was um, nothing. It was just weeds. And everything past that first four feet is kind of struggling. So I'm going to do a whole video just about that um, coming really soon. But enjoy the sunflowers. <laughs> Actually, everything you're seeing when we moved here was weeds up to our waist and um, we've kind of just reclaimed the land a little piece at a time a little bit at a time we've added um, our first year was a, a corner of that over there and last year we expanded to all of this here and this was our full garden and then this year we've expanded over here and we've expanded over there and with every new thing we've tried something new and we've learned so many things um, there will be a recap at the end of the season to really help you guys understand what I've learned and what I, what, <laughs> what has been successful because we're still kind of weighing the pros and cons of things. So one thing I'm really excited about this year is my wax beans. So this is super fun. They're just really getting going and you can see there's beans all on there ready to harvest. These are the ones that froze. <laughs> and we are getting a couple gallons every couple days. So it's been super fun. So we have the green, or, or green beans, I call them green beans, they're yellow wax beans and purple beans. And purple seem to not be as hardy. The yellow wax beans are kind of crowding them out. Um, so next year we'll do them in separate rows because we love both of them. But they're more tender than the um, Blue Lake bush beans. And then we've got artichokes coming on. See, there's one there and then there's one on each leaf beyond that and they actually come pretty fast. Let's go see the sunflowers. <laughs> if you can find them way up there. <laughs> can you believe it? Way mm -hmm. bigger than last year. It's so fun. What did you fertilize them with? Nothing. There's not even a drip on them. Really? Yeah. They're just, their roots spread out and they gather from the water over here and I couldn't tell you. <laughs> These are Jerusalem artichokes here 
And then we have tomatillos, that's another first. And they're coming on, they're so cute. Oh, they're and beautiful. I can feel them, they're in there. <laughs> so we're really excited about that. And then we have ground cherries. This is another first. I love ground cherries. We've never had them before, so we're super excited. We can't wait, but they're kind of loaded in there. So if they all have time to actually fill out, we should have a really fun harvest. So you can <laughs> ignore that. <laughs> Isn't sage fun? It is. Look guys! I have calendula flowers. Remember when they were tiny little plants? I'm so, so excited about this. So, um, it's going to be hard to clip off the flowers, but that's what I'm growing them for, is so that I can clip them off. And there's buds all over, and I'm just so excited. So we'll be making salves and all kinds of herbal concoctions with these and it's going to be great. So there will be videos about that in the future. I think out of this row, we've picked probably about six gallons of peas so far this year. I just am so tickled. We, I blanched them and put them away in the freezer and um, we're going to have peas this winter and that is something I'm really excited about. You can see we've got squash that are kind of just sprinkled in strange places and they're just kind of everywhere. And the reason that we've done that is because they take up such a monster amount of room. So we grew some of these over in the corner last year and they grew on the fence which was pretty cool but they took up such a huge amount of space that it just didn't feel worth giving that much room to get a few squashes off of. So we've put them in places, it's really important to have them in places where you're already watering because they do need a fair bit of water once they've got a good squash set on there. If you really want it to grow big, you really want to baby that thing. So the things that squash need to really grow happy and healthy is they need to have a really dry underbelly. So the, the vines need to be dry. The um, squash needs to be dry. If you've got it sitting in mud, you're going to end up with rot. So we grow ours in places where we're already watering and where it's really easy to give them water. And we grow them in places where they can sprawl. So I put them along the edge of my garden for the summer squash so they can bleed out of the garden. And they're just at the end of a row instead of trying to put them in a row in your garden. If you put them in a row in your garden, it takes up the amount of room as two and you can only fit a couple plants in your garden. So this way I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and they're all on ends. And so we're getting tons of zucchini right now. And then with the winter squashes, I have them at the end of our berry rows. So we've got two raspberry rows and a strawberry row, all of which I was already watering. I was already there doing the work. So they're just at the very end of it and they can bleed like crazy out that direction. And they're on the wood chips, which is super important because then they're not going to rot. And the wood chips hold in that moisture so that they stay moist in the ground all the time, but they stay dry on top of the ground all the time. And if you do that and don't overwater when you're trying to get them to produce, but then water heavily once they are producing, you're going to have a really good winter squash harvest. you guys for coming to visit my garden so I will have videos about all of the specific things that we've learned what worked what didn't work 
but right now we're kind of still in the process of all of it and so some of the things that we thought were going to work in the beginning turned out to not work and some of the things that I didn't think were going to happen have gone ahead and grown and I want to really go into specific detail about all of that but I just couldn't resist showing you how beautiful it all is right now. August is kind of a magical month here in Idaho. We have fruit that feels like it's coming into our house by the truckloads and we have green beans that are coming in and broccoli and the cucumbers and all of this stuff from not just from my garden there's gardens all around here um, that it's all piling in from and so we're working really hard to preserve it all and we're just kind of living in the moment so my videos right now are quickly put up and just hopefully inspire you and then as we get later into the season we will get down to the nitty-gritty details of what it all happened so thanks for stopping by i am so happy to see you all don't look at what you're picking while you're picking it look <laughs> it up and full of earwigs oh earwigs are so I hate earwigs <laughs> the new thing <laughs> the new thing <laughs> just a tiny bit, bit. there we go can you even see them <laughs> nope not with you in the frame <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha